Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to be trying the Foxy Eye Trend. So if you want to see how I went from this to this, then please keep watching. So I just zoomed you guys in a little bit so you can see what's going on. I'm just going to clip my hair back so it doesn't get in the way. So today we are doing the Foxy Eye Vibe inspired by Kendall Jenner, Bella Hadid. So I will get up some looks that I have been inspired by. I don't know if you guys can see that po photo. I'll put it up on the screen too. That is just basically saying though. It's a picture of Kendall and Kylie and um, G... I always want to call... I get those two sisters mixed up all the time. And Bella. And it's just saying about the thread lifts, which is like the aka the brow lift. And I think basically what they do is like they make an incision here in your forehead and like pull all this up. So you instantly like got that cat eye. So obviously I'm not saying that they definitely have had that done and that's why they look that way um, because a lot of it is enhanced with makeup anyway. Um, so we are just going to try and achieve that look today. So I'm excited. I'm a bit nervous as well. I've never done it before. So we're trying it out for the first time right here today on this channel. So as you saw on the picture all the girls have quite straight brows which mine aren't really that straight I do have quite a long tail my brows are ridiculous at the minute they are about three months strong <laughs> and I still have not waxed them I don't have a wax pot at home and I don't want to tweeze them because I'm too scared so we're just rolling with the grown out brows so that might make it a little bit hard to do them today but we will try our best. Normally when I do my brows I would start with my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow gel and brush them through but I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to brush them through with a spoolie with no product on. So this is just from the Benefit Foolproof brow powder. Just a cute little travel friendly spoolie. Right, that's how it fits in the compartment. Take it out. You've got a spoolie. So just going to brush through my brows. I have seen a lot of people that have done this have actually shaved the tail ends off the brow. Like that is commitment to the video but we are not doing that here honey. Hell no, it took me years to grow out these brows from over tweezing them at school. So I am not doing that today. <laughs> I'm just going to take my Benefit Browsings in shade 3 and I'm just going to use the brush that's in there. Again, really handy little brush. Pull it out and you've got your brow brush. And then I'm going to dip into the wax and the powder. So just a couple of little taps in there. And then... Do you know what first? I might start by concealing out and then trying to conceal a shape on the brow. So I'm just gonna take this Mars brush. This is from the stripey set I believe it's like number 706 or something I'll link it down below and then I'm gonna go in with my MAC Pro Longwear concealer just pop a bit of that on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna start on top so let's see how this goes by the way all my freckles have started to come out because it's been sunny but what has happened to the sun it has disappeared. So with that concealer, just trying to get a nice straight brow on the top. Okay, just need a smaller brush. I mean I have a lot of hair up there so just using this brush to help blend it out a bit. I am going to go down this side of the tail as well, even though we are trying to achieve a straighter brow look. I don't know if you can tell already, but this one looks a lot straighter than this one, mainly because I've like chopped off half my brow with concealer. <laughs> so just do the same on the other side. Okay, hopefully this comes together when I've started to fill them out, because <laughs> right now we're looking a little crazy. 
and just blending out the edges of that concealer. So obviously I've not carved underneath yet but I'm going to wait before I do that. I'm going to fill them in just because I've not got a structured brow I don't want to mess it up. So just going in with my browsings and I'm going to... They, have, they all have quite defined brows so we'll do them defined today. So I'm going to start on the top, just getting that straight brow at the top there and then going along underneath very lightly on the front of the brow and then applying a bit more pressure towards the end. So we're just trying to achieve that like look rather than a rounded. So I have no idea what I'm going to do when it comes to the tail. <laughs> I'm just going to try flick it out a little bit and then we can try disguise all that hair with concealer in a minute. So I don't know if you can see that. But my tail kind of wants to come down here but I've flicked it out that way. Like I said, I've never tried this before so this could end terribly. So then just filling out the rest of the brow there. This is the thinnest my brow has looked for a long time. But on the photos there, tails are quite thin. So we're going to rock it today. So again, just focusing the majority of the product towards the tail end of the brow. And you want to do like little flicks. Again, on the photos, they don't have hair like strokes. You can see they've got hair, obviously, but we can achieve that with brow gel in a minute. And then I'm not putting, it, putting any more product on my, bra my brush, but I'm just going to start flicking it upwards towards the front of the brow just to get a little bit of product in there. And then just taking that spoolie again and blending the product through the brow. I am very happy with that. Obviously it will look a little bit more tidy underneath once once we carve them out. I'm just going to do the um, same thing on the other brow off camera because otherwise this video will be 40 minutes and it will just be brows. <laughs> be right back. So that is brows done. I found it really hard to do this brow because it is naturally a lot thicker than this brow but we worked with it. Um, they're definitely not even but eyebrows are sisters not twins but I do feel like I have managed already with my brows to f to like almost give the effect that I've had a brow lift because rather than bringing my arch like down here and the tail where I normally would I've used the brow product and the concealer to flick it out a little bit more so so far so good so I'm actually going to use a concealer today I was going to use my wet and wild um, eyeshadow primer but I'm going to use a concealer because I want a little bit of a thicker base so I'm just going to go back in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer this is in the shade NW15 and then I'm just going to pop that on my lids with my ring finger and then just blend that out with my blender brush this is literally the cheapest little brush from Amazon but it's perfect for doing stuff like this with but have you guys tried it how did you find it did you like how it made your eyes look did you feel like it did make you look like you'd had a little bit of a facelift what are your opinions on this I am just going to set that down with my Laura Mercier translucent powder so this is like a banana -y kind of powder which is brightening which we need 
This brow is really good. This brow is not. Like, this is definitely the ugly twin sister. Hello. Ugh. Never mind. We will work with it. So now I'm just going to take some tape. You could use any tape. You could use the special little makeup ones. You could use masking tape. I'm using sellotape. Just because it's what we've got in the house. could get like a little bit of cellophane, you know, like what comes in the um, eyeshadow palettes to protect the eyeshadow. You could just line that up and keep moving it as you go. But I like to use tape. So at that kind of angle to your eye. I hate this feeling though. That cello tape on my eye makes me feel a bit sick. <laughs> this looks so funny. I'm going to take a quite a neutral palette. I'm going to go in with my clearly much love Violet Voss Holy Grail palette. And it's looking like this. I haven't used this for ages but I used to use it like every day. Um, I'm going to go in with the shade Transition which is right here just on a fluffy blender brush. Tapping off the excess. Just applying that in the crease not going too crazy because you don't want heavy colors you want to keep this quite neutral and you can always build more just kind of going to the edge of that sellotape and blending it out in small circular motions taking a bit more And then I'm also just now bringing this up here to and just the same on the other eye. Oh my god, I'm really hating on this brow. <laughs> I'm loving this one though. Let's just pretend that they both look like this one. I saw that um Shonic Zone did a video on this and she made it look so easy. I mean I'm sure you all know who Shanix O is, right? She's been on YouTube for like 10 years and she's so good at makeup. She's got her own brand called Exo Beauty which I keep meaning to double check if they ship to the UK. So she, I know that she lives in New Zealand. And I really want some of her lashes because they're so pretty. I'm just going to take this Certify Eyeliner Brush. Little brush. And I'm going to go in. I'm actually going to mix the shade Brownie Points and Teddy Bear. And do like a liner against this sellotape. That is so bright. I'm going to start in here and use it the sellotape as my guide. I'm bringing it up to about there because we are going to flick it out and blend it a little bit more. So just going in with that first blender brush I took and the first shade transition and just taking it over that liner and blending it out so it's nice and soft. So this is either going to look really good or really bad when it comes off. <laughs> no in between. I'm not going to bring this eyeliner all the way into the inner corner. I'm just kind of um, going to stop it at the centre of the eye. So just building it up a little bit more how I think I want it because at the end of the day we're recreating the look we're putting our own little spin on it if we want to just had a look and it does look like Gigi has got a little bit of black liner on too so we'll do some of that also and just the same on this side
I just poke myself in the eye with a brush. Don't water, don't water. Why is bristles in your eye like such a painful thing? <laughs> if there is any new YouTubers on here that have maybe stumbled across my video, let me know in the comment section down below and I will link your YouTube on my Instagram. Um, now I don't have that many follow followers but I thought it'd be like a good little thing to do for new YouTubers. I know there's been a few people that have started um, during quarantine like myself YouTube so I thought it'd be good if we could all support each other. So um, obviously I'll link my Instagram in the comment section down below if you want to give me a message on there or just let me know in the comment section um, down below uh, on YouTube and I can search for you. And obviously it would be good if that favour was returned. Be nice. <laughs> okay, so that is how we are looking. I'm just looking back at the Bella Hadid photo. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that so far. So I'm just going to grab my eyeliner. So I'm just going in with the super dark um, KVD Vegan Beauty Tattoo Liner. And I'm not going to follow where I put that shadow, I'm just going to kind of do it quite close to the lash line to disguise um, the falsies that I'll be putting on. So, just going right in that corner. And I don't want it to be that harsh so I'm going to go back in with the certified brush and just take those two colours again brownie points and teddy bear and just go in over that liner to smudge it out a little bit okay, that has dried down like straight away annoyingly But I think once we get the lashes on, that will be quite disguised, I hope, because if not, I've just ruined that. <laughs> Does anyone else ever get to a point in the makeup when they get really scared, like, this is make or break now, it's either going to turn out shocking or it's going to all come together and look okay in the end. And that is how I'm feeling right now. I have major anxiety that this is not going to turn out good. <laughs> Bella also has, and I know they do this with Kendall Jenner a lot too, like they put a little bit of eyeliner just in the inner corner. I've never tried this before so I'm nervous, but it will just help to elongate the eye a little bit, so bear with me. And then I just elongated that with a little bit of the shadow. I guess it has, I think it's worked, I don't know. This could be a complete disaster. <laughs> but hey ho. Wow, okay, wow, yeah, that has made such a difference. Just looking in my viewfinder, this eye looks so much more like, rather than this little round ball here. <laughs> so just do the same on the other eye. Moment of truth, I'm gonna take this off. Okay, that is not looking bad. Okay, I feel like I look incredibly weird right now. So we're just gonna get some mascara on and I will be red back. Okay, so time for lashes. So I am gonna steal the little trick that Shanix ordered. So I'm just gonna take some lashes first of all. So for lashes, I'm gonna go in with the Prima Lash hashtag 920, but I'm going to cut them because I don't want to bring them all the way in. I want the wing effect. So just grabbing some scissors and just cutting those so they are about three quarters in length like so and then I'm just gonna see what that looks like on the eye I 
Okay, so rather than take that three quarter bit, I'm actually going to take the tiny little front front quarter because I feel like it gives more of that cat eye. So I'm just going to take my black duo lash glue and apply that to the lash. So I'm just going to let that go tacky. I can't stop looking at myself, I feel like I look really weird. I don't think I suit this eye look at all. <laughs> So I'm just using my House of Lashes tweezers. I actually bought these, a pretty little thing. I'm gonna place that on the outer corner. But like Shannon so did, I'm not going directly on the lash line. They, I'm going, I'm angling it a little bit. So where we put that, um, so where we put that black liner, I'm going to pop it against that, if that makes sense. So there's a little tiny gap between the lashes and my real lashes. So it's not directly close to the lash line. You see that difference already? Just feel like it's helped to lift the eye a little bit. And then obviously once that's dried down, I will put some mascara on to help blend those two together. There's a little gap here between the false lash and my natural lash. Okay, so I'm just going to do the other eye and I'll be back. I've just remembered the brand that I bought these from. They are Kiwi Killer Fashion. They're on Instagram. They've got some amazing bits. They did a collaboration with Jilly. Yeah, Jilly Isabella. And I believe she's Scottish. And they, she's just stunning, like look at her gram she's like a fashion blogger vlogger whatever you want to call it. she often posts like really quirky funky stuff which i love to look at she's stunning but yeah they i think oh typically all of her stuff is sold out now with them and um, she did the collaboration over christmas but i'm hoping that they're gonna do another one because it was so nice so I'm just going to take some more of my mascara, my PHB Ethical Beauty, and just blend those together. I can't believe how well that's worked. It really just looked like I've had a little bit of an eye lift. Oh my god, I am loving that. Again, it's not something I, I would wear all the time because I don't think this eye look is really for me. But I feel like once we get some contouring done and things, it will all come together. So time for face makeup. So I'm just going to go in with my Too Faced Hangover Primer. Nice hydrating one. I also feel like Kendall Jenner and Gigi Hadid have really lovely glowy skin. So that is what we will do today. Um, I may need to lighten it up ever so slightly, but I'm just going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminous Foundation in the shade 315M. So just taking a Real Techniques buffing brush and blending that in. Oh no, just covered my earring in foundation. And coming down the neck to blend that out. So the girls are lovely and glowy but it's still quite full coverage but I am going to keep it at one coat of foundation today. Then I'm going to go in with a really brightening full coverage concealer and for that I'm using my Huda Beauty the Overachieve Concealer. I am not sure what shade this is in because it has rubbed off because I've used it that much. Fine that under the eyes and then also quite close to there actually I'm going to take a brush for that part because I want it to be really bright under there so I feel like they're really bright like all here so just taking my Morph Beauty Sponge and blending that out and then just because it is quite bright, I'm just going to go back over with my foundation brush to blend it out a little bit. So making this nice and bright. And then for this section, I'm just going to take the brush that I carved my brows out with at the start and just go right underneath there. 
and it just emphasises that a little bit more. So just bring on that right up the cheekbones. So full coverage. I shall have to find out. I mean I can't see what would be in a concealer to make it not vegan but you never know. So I'm just going to go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Like I said at the start it's a bit more banana-y um, so it helps to brighten and I'm just going to take again that same brush and just go under that sharp line. Just to set it and really help to brighten it a bit more because you know it needs to be a bit more brighter. Kind of like baking there also at the same time. And then just pressing that powder in on the under eye so it doesn't crease. Yeah, I like that. And then I am going to do a little bit of contouring today. I've never done this on my channel before and I haven't done it for a long time so it could go horribly wrong. So bear with. We're doing a lot of first time things today. We're being risky, we're being ballsy, we're being brave. This is not normally me but I will just get my cream contour. I watched Shanek's own video, she did cream contour and I just thought it looked really lovely so I thought I'll give it a go. So just taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour kit. Obviously I'm bright enough under the eyes and I've set under there anyway so I'm not gonna put anything under there. Morph brush again from the stripey set and I'm gonna go in with this middle shade. It is called Shadow. Get that on the tip warm it up a little bit, I've not used this for a while, it's probably off, and just contour in with that shade. So kind of going up again to go with the like facelift effect. Oh my god I forgot how much I like cream contouring, literally not done this for ages. Look at that difference. Holy moly. <laughs> oh. I literally look like I've just been chiselled. Okay honey, I'm going to be contouring a lot more. <laughs> and just the forehead. And just blending that out into the hairline because I have a big forehead and I need to make it look small oh my god I just went to look at that as if it was a mirror that's so funny so just check in like the under eyes have increased I mean look at that difference, even the jawline, like now hello, we have a jaw, hello. <laughs> now let's set over that, I'm not going to set over um, where I'm going to put powder bronzer though, so I'm just going to go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder again and this little certified brush and just set anywhere where I'm not about to put any more powder. I am gonna, even though I'm gonna put some bronzer on my nose, I am just setting that because I do tend to crease there and the forehead. Bronzer today, gonna go in with my Urban Decay Beach Bronzer on this little cute Benefit brush and just kind of following where I put that contour. So Bella Hadid is nice and bronzed on hers, so that's what we're going to do today. I never contour my nose because I don't feel the need to. I've kind of left this area here, with, so I've not put bronzer there to give it that like pulled back effect 
Then I'm going to go in with highlight. I'm going to use my Anastasia Nicole Guerrero. Guerrero. I could never say her last name. G Guerrero? I'm sorry, that's really bad of me. <laughs> but I am just going to take... I'm going to take the shade Daydream on my Anastasia A25 brush. And just take a little bit of this. And go straight back. Well, that's next. So over the cheeks and back. Okay, and I'm not going to bring it round here today. But I am going to pop a little bit here, just over the front of the brows. Also, just patting it on here. A bit like a little bit of brow bone highlight too but without being too precise I really need to get some proper light in it is my birthday soon and I've asked for a light so you'll just have to bear with me till then okay well now I've made my brows really glittery but it's fine we're gonna go throw with some brown mascara in a moment for blush today I'm just gonna take the Benefit California blush a nice bright corally one and go over the apples of my cheeks and back. So straight back again to give it that kind of effect. Finish off the brows and really define those hairs. I'm just gonna brush through with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And also to flick out some of that highlight out of the brow hair also so I'm not like brushing them up like I normally would to make them fluffy I'm brushing them up and then flattening them back down again Ugh, that brow so I'm not going to put any bottom lash eyeshadow on or mascara because I feel like that and that would just bring back the natural overly shape of my eyes I have got naturally quite big eyes um, so I feel like it would take away from that foxy eye look so I'm just gonna look what Bella has on so I am just gonna take the Essence lip liner in the shade Expresso and just line my lips I'm not gonna overline them I overlined them a little bit by accident. <laughs> These Essence lip liners are actually really good and I think they're like 99 pence. And then I'm going to take my Kylie Cosmetics lipstick in Dolce K, just from the outer corners. And then right in the centre I'm going to go in with the Metal Mac lipstick in the shade Hair and just blending that out with my fingers. And then of course the Jenners and the Hadids are the queens of glowy skin so I'm going to go in with my iconic, I, feel, I always say this is original but I don't think it is you know, oh it is original sorry, um, and just spritz that all over the face. That smells so good okay so that is the finished look I can't believe this is me <laughs> I feel like I look completely different but I am loving I love the airbrushed kind of look skin I love how glowy it is I do love that it looks like it's really pulled me back and given that facelift kind of effect Um, it is not something that I would do every day because even though the eyes quite neutral I feel like it does look like I've got a lot of makeup on but that could just be me because I'm not I'm not used to looking like this 
so obviously if you then put like your hair up too you would look really chiseled <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that today because I mean I'm just at home doing jobs so just gonna leave my hair down but this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed it I probably waffled a little bit so I do apologize about that and um, but if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button like I said if you're new to YouTube if you want to help su support small channels then let me know in the comments section down below or give me a message on my Instagram and we can shout each other out and help each other so just let me know. So I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye loves.